So welcome to the course in bioinformatics it's called, at Stockholm University. It's called KB7004. So here it's just some practical information how, on how to perform the course. The course homepage you see up here on the left, bioinfo.se, courses in traditional bioinformatics. And this should be the first page you get. You see, it consists of a number of lectures that are mainly given by me, but also by others. And the lectures I give, but not the guest lectures, are actually all available on the web ahead of time. So we will not use the lecture time to actually give lectures, we will use them for discussions. So I assume that you all come well prepared for the lectures. So you should have watched the videos, read the material, and posted two questions each on the lectures. And, uh, and there are a number of lectures see, and in addition, there are a number of bioinformatics assignments that you will do in the lab, which can be done in the, in the computer room. And there are also a number of pro pro programming labs that you also should do. And uh, so these parts are done and headed up by assistants. So let's start with the lectures. So my lectures, so let's you look at what you see there. For instance, in this lecture, introduction lecture, you end up clicking that and you will get this page here. You see all the lectures to the left, you see the things here. You can hide these things to the left if you want to, or you can get it back. And here you have some information. So that's me, my email address. They are named the guest lecturers, the name of the assistants, hashtag, the email list of the, of the group, the homepage, where the lectures are, the computer room, etc. And the schedules. This is just a schedule that you can subscribe to on your mobile phone, whatever you want. Just click on the Google Calendar down there, and you will see all the schedules down there. So you see when the labs are. The labs can be divided into two groups, the group A and group B, and we can divide it later. And we're also going to go, going, going to go through to make sure that you have all your, uh, that you are all here and that you're all down there. But this is not on the videos. And then actually, the second part of here of all lectures basics is an introduction video. So you can see here, this is a, a YouTube video. And if you, of course you can click on it and it starts running. And now you will see it's been played here by itself. You see me on the soft corner up there. And I can pause it. And it should work on any device that can look at watch YouTube. And in this case, you also have a small map. which actually tells you where we are to find your way here. So then you can go down, go down to look at the ne next lecture, which is going to be given later. Uh, there is a description of the. I mean, this starts with some reading material. So this is, in this case, four links that you should all read. So I expect you all to read up before the lecture. There is the, some information about the course, additional useful information, or the extra reading. And then there are the videos. The, the videos here are divided into short pieces, but we five, ten minutes each. And what is clear is that this is probably a bit shorter than the, than the lecture would, would have been given if you had watched it on um, given by myself at you, live. So before, because of that, you might want to look at the older lectures. There are 2016 and 2014 lectures. The 2016 lectures are generally divided into two parts. And sometimes there are some additional lectures that I think are good from other people in the world in the, on the web. So the idea here, if you let's go back to the introduction lecture, is that when you've watched all the material, not today, but of it, you should give a comment. Well, you can't do that in that lecture, but you can't do it in this lecture. So here you can write a comment, uh, or reply to call it here. So say that this is a question to discuss. So basically, this is what we're going to focus on during the lecture, discussing this. If I don't have any questions, if I don't have anything there, there's no reason to have a given lecture. We go there and we'll be silent. It's boring, so really, you should be calm, well prepared. If you can then go to look at the labs, they're a bit similar, but so there is the first lab here, genes and genomes, this is a lab, this is a short introduction video for most of them, maybe not for all. The instructions and things how to do these things and in this case you should send a reply to someone send a reply that contains all information to a single single file a pdf file 
sent to this email address here that that's going to be um, first going to be analyzed for plagiarism so you should be sure make sure that it does contain any copied material so you're never ever allowed to use copied material from the web or from anywhere else and these websites are pretty good so they will find it not even from your friend so if you have two people sending you the same reply we will notice it so you have to use your own words to answer questions some of the questions is just very short it's just no and things like that some of the questions you need to write a bit more in the python labs and programming labs later you're going to have to do things like uh, actually write small, small programs now instructions how to do that so back to the introduction lecture uh, so once first thing we're going to do is actually look at this unix introduction video as soon as we've done all the practical parts setting up make sure that everybody's here and the websites etc and then the first lab is going to be done that so that is basically that's give a very very big introduction to the to, to how to use the computers and also you're going to give to get your accounts and your passwords and we're going to start assigning things for the for the so you can get your access card and things like that some practicalities 